All right, the question now is about fusarium on wheat. Up in Ontario now doing grower meetings and there's a lot of questions. Obviously some areas in this particular province had a lot of fusarium or head scab as it's also called uh, in this uh, season this year. So I've really got three potential solutions. I don't have a total solution. Scab is a pretty difficult disease to try and control totally but I've got three suggestions. Number one, and I'll go through each of these uh, individually. Number one, you've got to start out with varieties that have got pretty good tolerance to scab or fusarium, okay? There's no varieties out there that are totally resistant. You've got to find varieties that are at the top end of the, of the tolerance to fusarium, number one, okay? Number two, you've got to apply a foliar fungicide at Feeks 10.51 or flowering as it's also called Prosaro or Caramba at that stage, okay? And we'll get into that in more detail in just a minute. Lastly, uniformity of emergence out of the field is important, uniform heading day. So a little bit more detail, I went back to the first one, you've got to start out with varieties that are more tolerant to fusarium. Look at local data, look at provincial data, talk to people in the know and try and figure out which varieties showed better tolerance to scab within this and a, and a set of average growing conditions, okay? Step number two, uh, we talked about fusarium control or scab control with a sprayer. Lots of things going on there. You've got to start out with a good fungicide. You've got to use those products if you want high standards of control. It's all about coverage. You need a minimum of 15 gallons of water uh, per acre, you need the aggressively angled forward backward nozzles, you've got to get good coverage on the wheat heads, okay? So the, the wheat heads need to be fully emerged, they need to be at flowering stage to get maximum control. The carambas, the follicures, the prosaros are only locally systemic, so unless you get good coverage all over the head, the product is not going to translocate up and down the head to control the other spikelets that don't get coverage. <laughs> Lastly, it begins with uniform emergence. A lot of growers fall over at the starting gate. They're not spreading residue at seeding time or at harvest time. They're not getting the wheat in the ground to a consistent seed depth. The result is uneven emergence. Some seeds come right up within a few days. Other areas, the seeds are planted into residue or dry soil. It takes a rain a week, two weeks later, and then they come up. The staggered emergence has an impact on when that plant heads out and when it flowers. So if you're trying to time a fungicide application on a field that's got some subtle differences row to row depending on seeding depth or how that seeder performed, you're not going to get the standard of control because the field's not even enough to spray. So those are three topics I'm going to suggest would help achieve a higher standard of fusarium control.